Let's move on to a DAC. This is a budget offering. Now, audio DACs are used to power headphones that need the power to reproduce the high resolution, lossless audio that is being played and used by many users. And the PAW S1 is one of the smaller budget offerings, but it's a good one. Aluminium body, feels solid, small digital little screen, 3.5 mm headphone jack and a 4.4 mm jack at the bottom connected to devices through the USB port on top. Sound signature, we found it to be very, very balanced for the part. Goes a little thumpy and rumbly on the bass, but I think that's what we really, really like. Priced at 11,990. DACs or digital to analog converters convert a digital signal into an electric voltage signal to power equipment. And the audio DACs are used to power headphones that need the power to reproduce the extremely high res lossless audio that is being played by the user. And DACs come in various shapes and sizes in a variety of prices. And what we have today is one of the smaller and more budget-oriented ones, called the Low 2 Paw S1. And let's take a look at what it can do. The Paw S1 has a black aluminum body that looks great and feels solid. There is a small screen on the front, which is rare in this form factor. It shows the current volume, the level of volume gain, and EQ mode. On the side are three buttons, a button to control what shows on the screen and two plus and minus buttons to cycle through the volume, volume gain or EQ modes. At the bottom are two ports, a 3.5mm port and a 4.4mm port and up top is the USB-C port. The cable that comes with the DAC can be used to connect it to a laptop, PC or phone. It needs to be protected and taken care of as if it is lost, you will have a hard time finding one that works well with the DAC. While devices can detect the DAC automatically, pressing and holding the function button enables devices like gaming consoles to detect it and use it for audio pass-through. Now let's talk about the sound. The sound signature of the DAC is very balanced, mostly with a slight dip towards the warmer and bassy lows. The sound has the perfect amount of density and depth. The sound stage is not the widest, at times one can easily mistake it to be congested, but for the most part the user will be satisfied. The low frequencies are thumpy, rumbly and satisfying. The audiophiles who have preference for bass will appreciate the PAW S1. The mids and vocals are extremely smooth and prevalent. The separation between instruments and vocals is clear. The highs are perfectly enough with the natural tone to them. And neither frequency is distorted by the other. The low 2 PAW S1 is quite the performer for the size and the price of 11,990. The screen makes things easier to control and understand. The two ports offer versatility with the choice of equipment. And most of all, the sound is going to satisfy most of the audiophiles. Hence, it gets a firm recommendation from us for all the music fanatics looking for a DAC that is priced well and still performs great.